G'day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to copy files from one folder to the other in Linux Mint uh, using the terminal. So first of all, open up a terminal and navigate to the folder where you would like to uh, copy files from. So in this case, I'm going to go to CD Squiggly, which stands for Home. So Home, then my Documents folder, which is a capital D. So I've changed directory CD to the Documents folder. Now I'll just type in ls to see what files I've got in there. So I've got, for example, some work files in there. So what I'll do is I'll, I w okay, first of all, I want to know where I'm going to send it. So I want to send it to another file called, um, actually I'll show you, uh, it's called files actually, but I'll show you when I copy it through. So what I do is I'll type in copy and all.all which means all files in the current directory that I'm currently in, the documents directory, then another space, and where I want it to go. So I want it to go to the files directory that I mentioned, which is currently empty. So I just, uh, after I've done that, cp space all.all .all space squiggly and files directory, hit enter, and that's all done. Now. Uh, what I'll do is I'll navigate to the files directory. I'll make sure that it's there. So cd dot dot cd files ls to list the uh, contents of the file. And there we go. All done. Uh, it is copied across now. Now I also believe if uh, we go back to the documents folder. I, might, I actually haven't really thought about this, but I'll see if I can do that exact same command again in verbose mode. And verbose mode means um, really just to output what you're doing. So I'll show you that, verbose, and then back into files. It might actually create a small conflict here because the files already exist, but let's have a look anyway. Yep, excellent. It just overwrote them. That's fine, that's good, that's great. Now without the dash V, you wouldn't have seen this output. This is called the verbose output, and it just means, as I've said, just to show you um, the output of what you're doing. Otherwise, sometimes if you copy in really massive folders to other folders, there's just, it's sort of like a waiting period of time on the terminal. It doesn't really give you any output as to what's going on, and that would be a shame if you thought it was freezing up and you were to cancel it. So, dash V is uh, used a lot with pretty much everything in Linux. Alright guys, hope you've enjoyed and uh, yeah, I hope you like that. Uh, thanks for your time. Ciao.